the mission of the Center for Environmental Energy Engineering is twofold. It is enabling energy sustainability. And that really means working on energy efficiency as an enabler of renewable energy. The second aspect is really enabling and fostering creativity and innovation. The tools and technologies that we have uh, developed here help us find these new systems or designs and push the technology and the research frontier. When we know where the boundaries are, then we know where to focus on next to push those boundaries further. One of the things that I really like about working in the CEEE is that I feel very engaged with the research. It's very important research that needs to be done, and it's also important to me. Living the way we do off fossil fuels, we need to increase energy efficiency. The uniqueness of the center on the research side is the focus on systems and system integration. And by doing that, we develop synergies that otherwise wouldn't be available. If we reduce the power consumption of a house by 80% to 20%, the burden of on the environment and on the pocketbook for extracting fossil fuels would be reduced and it would be spent on renewable energy which means local jobs because renewable energy has to be created locally and will hopefully lead to a better environment too. I lead the research and development of simulation and optimization tools for the design and analysis of air conditioning systems. Routinely, air conditioning manufacturers are faced with the challenge of putting together a particular air conditioning system that gives or operates at the lowest cost and has the lowest energy consumption. There are typically a million ways of putting together such a system. Optimization is the systematic application of methods that allow you to intelligently analyze and search through these millions of combinations and find these so-called best designs. We are the first to build on this multidisciplinary optimization research and apply it for the design of next generation energy systems and components. The CEEE is really at this nexus of energy efficient, sustainable technologies and new methods or techniques for engineers to be more effective. We're merging these fields of optimization and energy efficiency to create tools that will really catalyze the production of, of better systems. A typical major air conditioning manufacturer, for example, makes over a million heat exchangers in a year. If you can use optimization to save the manufacturing cost by each of these heat exchangers by a dollar, that is a million dollars worth of savings in a year. Now you can view this million dollars of savings as 10 jobs for new graduating engineers, or the manufacturer can choose to pass these savings on to the consumer. Now I'm focused on uh, developing a new approach for solar air conditioning. My system uses a very special a hybrid solar collector. The output of this solar collector is a th a thermal energy and electricity. So we use the thermal energy to adjust the humidity inside the, the room and we use the electricity to adjust the temperature. You allow every system to do what it does best. I'm looking at systems that are combining heat production with power production and air conditioning. So you have a single set of devices that provides all of these uh, things to the home. Conventional power plants are located far away from us and that means that when they produce their electricity the heat that's also produced has to be wasted. When you locate the unit near where the electricity is used, you can also use the heat that's produced. The waste heat could be used for water preparation or the air conditioner as a cooling device could set one the refrigerator as well. So out of these system integration opportunities come significant energy savings. The Center for Environmental Energy Engineering has been a leader in energy conversion systems for over 20 years now. The other aspect that I like about the center is the consortium-based structure. My research is used at the most within six months by over 35 companies worldwide. Twice a year we have a meeting with people from the industry. We update them with our projects and our progress and we get a immediate feedback from them. So this gives me a, personally a sense that the project that I'm working on actually is a real world problem and you can see the result of your work. The long-range vision is to contribute to a society that can live on renewable energy with a sense that energy supply is definitely sufficient. And along the way to have fun.
to, to have the computers eliminate the tediousness and give us the opportunity to spend time dreaming up new opportunities.